Well, hello there, ladies and gents. I'm Tammy Sapnuski. Thank you so much for popping by my channel. This is part three of audio inside of LumaFusion, the most requested video that I get. How do we denoise our audio inside of LumaFusion? Look, the quick, easy answer is we can't. But fortunately, there's a few really good apps that we can work with independently of LumaFusion to get that to work for us. So I'm going to talk about the different apps we're going to work with. I'm going to talk about a few audio editing tips and the best way to capture your audio. But before we get into all that, I'd like to address the special guest in the studio for the past couple of days. And of course, she needs no introduction. That's the Blessed Mother, or as we say in Polish, Matka Boża. And Matka Boża is here because it's my responsibility to get her to my mom and dad's house in Florida in one piece. And I'm terrified that she's going to break on my watch. She has been in the family forever. So her being up here, it's the safest place for her to be. And God willing, she makes it there in one piece. Okay, so let's talk about the best way to capture your audio, especially if you think you might have to run it through a denoiser. Now, whether you capture your audio through a camera like I do, or if you capture it externally with a recorder, the best thing to do when you hit record, say nothing for a good solid three or four seconds before you start speaking. What that's going to do is give that denoising software a nice clean sample of those sounds that you want to pull out of the audio. So whether your key light has a fan or your computer fan is running or there's an AC in the background, that sample is going to give the software a nice understanding of that noise floor. Having that nice clean sample is going to help the software do a better job with extracting those unwanted noises out of your audio. Let's talk about the different apps that we're going to work with. One is Denoise. The good thing about Denoise is it's a companion app to DShake. DShake is an app I've discussed in the past where it helps to stabilize shaky footage inside of LumaFusion. So if you've already purchased DShake, you're going to get Denoise at a discounted rate. I have purchased DShake, so I think I paid 99 cents for Denoise. Maybe it was $1.99, I really don't remember, but very inexpensive. The other app that we're going to be working with is Bruce Free. This is significantly more money, but it is a superior way to extract unwanted noise out of your audio. Okay, now I'm going to give you my audio editing tip. And I bet you can't guess what it is. There's no way to know. Of course, using headphones is always going to be the best way to edit your audio. You're going to hear every element of your audio. It's going to sound crisp and smooth and wonderful. Use these. Don't use the speakers through your device. That's no way to hear the audio. If you don't have a set of over-the-ear headphones, you can, of course, use earbuds. They're not going to be as great as these, but at least it's better than using the speakers. And I have to say those Audio-Technicas, they're so comfy. You know, sometimes you have headphones on, and they're on so long that your ears hurt or the top of your head hurts. I really don't get that with these. So if you're looking for a really solid set of headphones, I'll leave a link for these down in the description. Okay, so let's jump into the overhead camera so that I can show you how to work both of these apps and bring that into LumaFusion and see the difference that the denoising applications made. Let's work with denoise first. So let's go ahead and launch that. And this is going to be the interface that you're greeted with. If you're launching it for the very first time though, it will ask you to give it permission to access your photos. Please do that. That's how you're going to retrieve the videos you want to work with. So let's go to my recents and we will find a sample of video that I had done where I don't speak in the very beginning to capture that noise floor. And what I did was I ran a white noise app on my iPhone so that it gave a nice solid noise to work with. So I'm going to pick that video. It's going to pull it in. So right now you can see it is analyzing the audio of the video. And right at the very beginning, you can see that there's no waves here to indicate that I gave a nice silent sample for the software to work with. So let's pick that area we really want to work with. And I'm going to choose um, no speech segment. And this is going to allow me to pull it out for the entire sample so that it can hear that. Pull this back and hear play. And you can hear the white noise. This is an audio sample. Okay, so down here you're going to notice a slider. 
And with this slider, we can dial in the intensity of how well this pulls and extracts the noises out of our audio. You know, I find that medium works pretty well. If you go to strong, it sounds really warpy and is just too much. But if you don't mind a warpy, wobbly audio and you just want to extract the noise, go all the way up to the strong and that's going to work well for you. But I'm going to pull it down just a little bit below medium and then I'm going to hit denoise and that is going to denoise the audio. This is an audio sample to show how well a few of the different apps are going to be able to remove that background noise. Right now there's white. So you can hear how well that did. What I'm going to do is pull this back again we're going to listen to it just for a few seconds, and then I'm going to remove where it says original sound. I'm going to remove the filtration, and you can hear the difference. This is an audio sample to show how well a few of the different apps I'm going to pull it off now. to remove background noise. Right now, there's white noise playing on my iPhone, I would say, six feet away from me. Not too loud, but I think... So you hear the difference that it makes, but just for, just so you have an understanding of what strong sounds like, we're going to choose denoise again. Silent. This is an audio sample to show how well a few of the different apps are going to be able to remove that background noise. Right now there's white noise playing on my iPhone. I know that sounded really good, perhaps through your stereo, but live and in person, there is a little bit of a warble wobble to it. So what I'm gonna do is choose, well, actually I need to do both. So what I'm going to do is choose done on this strong one and it's going to filter everything out. You can see it's working there. I'm going to save a sample of this. I'm going to go back in and put it back to medium just so that we have an understanding of the difference between medium and strong. And that saved that. Okay, let's jump into Bruce Free. And by the way, Bruce Free means noise free. I think it's in Swedish, I believe. So when you launch Bruce Free for the very first time, it's going to ask you permission to access your photos. Go ahead and allow it. This is the interface that you're going to be greeted with. So let's go to the project section and we are going to start a new project. And I am going to put denoise and I'm gonna put BR so that we're clear which program it came from. So let's go ahead and hit this and to bring back the interface, we are going to import and we're going to put extract from video. So unlike denoise, this is not bringing in the video. This is simply bringing in the audio from the video. So we have to pick the original one. Then once it comes up, you can play. There's a little play button down here. You can play it to make sure that indeed this is the audio that you want to work with. I know that this is, so I will simply hit use. And that is going to extract the audio from this video and bring it into the interface. So once again, this is what we have to do to get the denoiser to work with Bruce Free. The first thing that we need to do is give Bruce Free a nice sample of the noise that we wanna extract. So you see this little ear icon here? This is what we need to press and hold down while we play out the audio. And as soon as we're done with the noise sample, we can lift off of the ear. So let's go ahead and do that. You have to hit play first. You can't just hit the ear because it will say you have to play something. You can't just hold down the ear. So hit play and hold down the ear and let this go. Is an audio sample to show how well. A and just like that, it analyzed that noise floor and completely denoised the video. Listen to the difference. It's a huge difference already. A few of the different apps are going to be able to remove that background noise. Right now there's white. Okay, so these are a lot of different filters going on on the right hand side. And this expander also allows you to tweak the way that the audio sounds. So I've brought in a few different samples and I found that with my voice, this expander needs to look like this. However, you can move it and pivot it like this. You can pull this down. The lower the percentages of this threshold, the more it's going to clean the noise out, but I think the less that it drops down the quality of the actual audio. So I'll pull this like all the way down so that you can hear what I'm talking about. 
This is an audio sample. To show how See how it's very muffled? So I'm going to go ahead and raise this up. Well, a few of the different apps are going to be able to... And by the way, you can work all of these things while the audio is playing. Move that background noise. Right now there's white noise playing on my iPhone, I would say, six feet away from me. Not too loud, but I think loud enough for the microphone to pick it up. And on the right-hand side, we have filters. We have an edge filter, a high filter, and an HPF. If you don't know what these are, you just touch it and hold it, and it's going to give you an explanation as to what that does for you. And it says, controls the reduction intensity. A low value gives a smoother reduction. So this is what is going to basically be uh, how in LumaFusion we described as the uh, the attack time and the release time, this is what that is in Bruce Frey. And all you have to do is press it and hold it and move your finger or pencil up and down and you see how that moves. It increases it or decreases it. Go ahead and put it back there. And this is going to be boosts high frequencies. Once again, we can pull this down or bring it up. You just have to find the sweet spot for your particular voice. And this HPF is reduces low frequencies. So this is basically a high pass filter. So let's listen to how this sounds. Well, let's bring it all the way back to the beginning and work with it this way. Well, a few of the different apps are going to be able to remove that background noise. Let's see how well these apps perform. I think that sounds as good as I'm going to get it, basically. So once again, this was a $15 app, but I think the quality of the audio coming from this one is fantastic. Now we're going to export this as a finished product. So all we have to do is hit the export button. That is going to bring up the export window and you can change up the format, you can change up the bit depth, and of course you can change out the name. So I'm just going to put Bruce Free Denoiser and just leave it at that. If you wanted to save it at a higher bit depth, you absolutely can. The larger the bit depth, the more that your the larger your file is going to be. So I'm gonna leave it at 16. I think that well, let's go ahead and bump it up to 24. So we're gonna go ahead and save that. It says don't touch anything until this is done finishing uploading, so fine. We're gonna save this directly into the cloud. There we have it. So let's go over and bring that original video into LumaFusion. Okay, so now that we're in LumaFusion, I've already imported the original video clip with the original sound where it's very noisy with the white noise. I already brought in one of the denoised app videos, and what I'm going to do now is bring in the, the audio from the Bruce Free. So what we have to do is get the original video, which is right here. I'm going to put it again on the timeline. I am going to make sure it's highlighted. I'm going to drop out the audio from there. We want to replace it. So that's got to be completely thrown away. Now what we want to do is grab the audio from Bruce Free, tap it, hold it, bring it down, and drop it right underneath that video. Now that we have everything down here on the timeline, what I'm going to do is play another sample of the original noise floor, that background white noise so that you can hear how loud it actually was. This is an audio sample. Okay, so now what we're going to do is listen to the denoised one, medium strength. This is an audio sample to show how well a few of the different apps are going to be able to remove that background noise. Oh, my next video had better be about a de-essing app. Okay, so this is the Bruce Free denoiser. So let's go ahead and listen to this one. Silent. It's totally silent. This is an audio sample to show how well a few of the different apps are going to be able to remove that background noise. Right now, there's white noise playing. Okay, so you guys get a really good feeling for Bruce Frey and how awesome it is. So if you have that 15 bucks and want a solid denoiser, Bruce Frey is definitely the way to go. If you only have a couple bucks, I really think that this denoise app is going to work as well. Not as well, but it's going to work pretty good. And you don't have to keep it at medium. You can actually even just dial it lower if you want to just pull out some of the audio. But let's go ahead and listen to the denoised strong and see the difference between uh, Bruce Frey and denoised. Once again, that's silent too. 
This is an audio sample to show how well a few of the different apps are going to be able to remove that background noise. So you hear that tick tick? That's going to happen when you bump up denoise all the way to the very, very strongest level. So I don't recommend going up that high, but I think in the medium to low area, you're not going to get that interference, but let's just play a little bit more. Oh, I would say six feet away from me, not too loud, but I think... Le so it happens pretty much every time that the audio clips, it's going to be that audio banging sound. And that is how you denoise audio inside of LumaFusion. If you haven't had a set of headphones on, get them right now because I'm going to drop below the raw sound of the audios. First the white noise, then the brush free, and then the denoise app. This is an audio sample to show how well a few of the different apps are going to be able to remove that background noise. This is an audio sample to show how well a few of the different apps are going to be able to remove that background noise. This is an audio sample to show how well a few of the different apps are going to be able to remove that background noise. So obviously Bruce Free is the better one. It's way more expensive, but it, it did a really solid, great job. So if you're looking to extract those noises from your video and you can afford the $15, go with Bruce Free. If you feel like you, know, you don't use a denoiser all that much, you just need it for one little thing, some background noise to take out, I think the denoise app did a pretty solid job at that medium setting. Okay, well, that's going to do it here for me today. I thank you so much for joining me. And until next time, wear your sunblock.